guys, I'm James Peter Henry. This is my studio. I have residency at the Kimpton Le Pee Hotel in West Hollywood. I've had my stuff here for two and a half years since it's opened and the studio has been here for four weeks. So we're just going to go around and talk about my paintings and how it's all happening and what they're about. This one is called The Marriage. It's acrylic on canvas, six by five. It's talking about bride and the groom coming from the church where everything is rosy. It's their best day in their life. And then the turbulence that comes into their marriage through the, the line which represents pride. You have, the, you have these bars here that represent the people behind, the, the bride and groom behind the bars, what you can't see on the inside. But what you see on the outside is something completely different to actually what is actually happening in their minds. The scorpion is representing, you know, like sexual sin that's happened outside the marriage that has brought a lot of confusion into their purity. And then you have a, a gun here, which is like the ending or, you know, the, the sin that's grown into the relationship since it first started. And the, the anger, the betrayal, the, the pride, the ego, Everything in that happens in a relationship. And yeah, so that's, that's called the marriage. It's really a whole full circle of someone's relationship that could possibly happen. This painting is called Maria and the Whorehouse. It's actually about a, a brothel. And you have the madam up here. You have the, the two prostitutes. This one will be the younger prostitute. This one's She's been working in the brothel for, I don't know, let's say 20 years. So she's uh, a lot of experience. The tiger, the puma, is representing, I think really the, the darkness in the painting. She's offering an apple as a gesture, as a symbolic gesture to the younger prostitute, almost like trying to entice her into the madam's world to say hey you know this is our world welcome you're a part of it but while that's happening an image that comes in front of them which is the statue of mary which you can sort of see here that's happening so she comes up and i think there's there's almost an epiphany from the young prostitute about what is actually happening where you've got the madam that's enticing her to be a part of this whole thing. But then there's the other side, there's the light that's coming through saying, don't get involved in this and understand that this is not the way that I want your life to be. Up here in the corner is going to be a pimp that is sitting up there directing the shots. So he's directing the shots, he's basically lording over the madam and the prostitutes and all he's seeing is something that is coming between his enterprise. You know, it's, it's a very dark story about this person's mind and where she is and she's reflecting on where she should be going. This one is called Demise of Democracy. It's actually about the White House. It's my political statement about what is happening in this world and what's happening in America. This is the president, his wife, and uh, possibly one of his children looking through the windows of the White House, seeing that America has basically hung themselves with the actions that have happened from the presidency and prior. You see the melting flag down the bottom. This is a world that he has created a man-made war as opposed to the world that should be. There's a lot of anguish in this, there's a lot of detail on deception. He has a demise of democracy. I could probably speak about that for an hour, but I won't go there. <laughs> the name of this is actually unknown to me. I haven't been able to put a name to it, but it's about being controlled by the world, about the, the powers that we live in, whether it's media, whether it's what our parents have been telling us. It's the man-made world again. She's standing there thinking, okay, I have many choices in my life. It's all about choice. It's all about which way we should go, which way we shouldn't go. The doors are indicating the, the lost doors, whether I should go through this door or whether I should go through that door. So it's really about choice. It's really about our lives and 
where we are today and, you know, and, and what happens with choice. Do not conform to the world, it's about conforming to the world. So you're on a merry-go-round in life, your 9 to 5 job, your kids, your mortgage, your, your, uh, your car repayments, everything is there. And this is about being controlled by the powers that be, being the, the power sockets on both corners, and then also the money versus scripture from the Bible. It's the, the engine that is moving our lives forward or backwards and not being able to get off the treadmill because of how we've been brought up in society. So it's a, a reflection of being trapped in this world. So this is called the, the Jazz Singer. It was done a couple of years ago for a jazz club in Sydney. So we have the, the microphone, the double bass, the keyboard. She's a very confident singer. She's someone that's very established in her field. With the arm on the hip, it's basically she has the crowd, she has the record sales, and she's just really in her element of being where she needs to be in, in her career. So yeah, it was done for a jazz club, and there's another whole series of that, there's another five. But I wanted to have a bit of an art deco feel to it with the colors, but also almost like a pop art feel to it as well. This is called Eve, or the lady with the apple, but I think that Eve is more really symbolic about what this is. It's actually Adam and Eve, so it's Eve. She has the apple. She's taking the apple out of the fruit bowl instead of taking the apple off the tree. So the forbidden fruit. But you know, the complexity of her mind, you can see on the outer, which is describing what is actually happening inside her. I wanted to portray exactly what was happening inside her mind at that given time when she actually picked the apple from the tree and I just kind of reversed it from picking it out of the fruit bowl instead. So that's, that, that one is Eve. This is a king's chair. It's a collage, so we have real velvet, we have gold studs, then I've also used acrylic paint. Underneath it is gold leaf through the entire back of the canvas. And then being the king's chair, I wanted it to represent the king, so I put Bible pages over that as well and then scratched through with the, with the gold flakes. And then I took a photo of, of a large chair and then superimposed that onto the canvas as well. So that's called the uh, King's Chair and it's uh, six by five feet as well. This is a new sweater collection that we're working on. It's called Jesus and the Whore. And it's really about you know, the story that happened over 2000 years ago. The prostitute, Jesus, the flamingo, which represents to me a sign of peace, of alignment. So we're selling these at the moment. We have a few different ones. We have the grey one. They've all been vintaged and they're screen printed and also hand painted as well. All original. And then we have also the black ones as well. So they're for sale at the moment. And then, where are we? Then also hand signed. And then as I said, with the with a signature on the back. So that's our Jesus and the Whore collection. So this is a new collection that I'm working with at the moment, so custom made runners. And so this one's for, for Nike, they both are actually. So hand painted from one of my original artworks. Um, so you see it like that. This one is more of a, a spray paint and also hand painted as well. So we're working on a few examples. It's about five different varieties at the moment, but this is our first demo of these two colors. So this is a plate collection that I'm working with, collaboration with the Table Art Store on Melrose and Laurel in Los Angeles. Made in France, hand painted here. This two in a box, so these two. Um, so hand painted and numbered as well. Limited edition of 300. So I think this is two of 300. Uh, so they're available at the Table Art Store in Los Angeles. So this is a collaboration with Ariana Rux in West Hollywood on uh, Robertson Boulevard. One of a kind, original, hand painted on Rux from um, Afghanistan. This is the smaller one that we're doing. We're doing other large ones for hotel lobbies, for large homes. And this is Ariana, which you'll probably see on other murals around Los Angeles. So these are small drawings that I do 
whether on a plane or in a cafe, and they're an indication of what I want for a larger painting or for something small, or just for me to, to be in that moment where I can be totally aligned before I step into a larger commitment, into a larger painting. Mainly just women and heads, and, uh, and there's a few little things I, I did when I lived in Colombia, a few projects, art projects. And then this head up here is actually a head that keeps repeating through murals and other large paintings. So they have been used for, for many different things and I have probably hundreds of these hanging around the studio and also at home as well. So yeah, just small drawings. So these are, are large drawings that yeah, again I use for other projects, whether they're murals or whether it's a large painting or I get inspiration from these to do other characters or other stories that lead into something completely different and they are also available as prints and originals but uh, mainly just done for my own purposes something completely different as well um, but yeah just drawings that inspired me to do other things always drawing. This is a, a woman looking through stained glass windows of herself looking at the problems that have caused in her life and also where she's come from and and at that fence where she's about to either go one way or the other. But you see a lot of deception in this, a lot of a lot of pain, but also there could be hope in this as well as she's standing on the, the edge, working out what she needs to change into, into her life to get aligned. So yeah, it's a lady looking through the stained glass window of her life.